Control C. <gasps> Hello, everybody. My name is Delilah Slate, and today we're going to be having a reaction video. Anyways, this is by Slow State. You know what it is. I've had Slow State reactions in the past. Um, honestly, I'm just here to check him out because I actually like his stuff, and yeah, he's cool. Okay, and I know that sounds dramatic. I'm not trying to clickbait here, but mm -hmm. I was genuinely in a pretty bad mood and I'm unsure about the future, and so today I'm going to talk about that. Recently, I've started yeah, I can feel you there. Called Flow Space, which is a platform where anyone can sign up to come on the show and talk to me for a little while about ambitions, life, your problems, really anything. Really? And it truly huh. has been one of the most genuine, valuable experiences I've had so far with this channel. I've had a guy from Ukraine come on to talk about his day-to-day -day life right now, other content creators, ambitious people wanting to start businesses. It's been really great, and I have no plans of stopping that. But the other day, I was really feeling... It'd be really cool to get on there. Idea ...because when I started posting these podcast episodes to my channel, they were drastically underperforming. My normal videos get between 10 and 20,000 views, while these were getting maybe three to 5,000 views. And not even for a second, it's... I'm not gonna lie, I did try to go for those videos at one point, and I was thinking, should I do reactions to them, should I watch them? Main reason I didn't was, one, because it's kind of hard to do, like, they were having very deep actual conversations, I couldn't do reaction videos to that. Um, and it just felt weird, because I was like, feel like a 30 year watching that. Um, that wasn't meant to be entertaining, that was meant for me to watch and listen. So that was a little bit of a different vibe. And then... Also combine that with the fact that, say, um, what's the fucking word? It's also just the length of the videos were a little bit different than what I was used to. I'd watch them separately on their own, though. But I just couldn't watch them on the stream, so that's why I won't be doing those. Is this a pity party for me? I'm not asking for attention here, but I would be lying if I said I did not start worrying about the massive drop off in views. I started thinking maybe this is a bad idea. People don't like the idea of the podcast. We like the idea. It's just a, it all up. it's a it's different really thing to me because I associate so much of my self worth to my success, as I'm sure many people do. And I get you there. A bad thing. It's definitely true for me. And I kept thinking about this for days, and eventually I just got so fed up, and I said I need a change of scenery. So. I got up and I went to the gym. So I went mm -hmm. to the gym and it was nighttime, so it was pretty quiet. And I was just kind of thinking by myself. And I realized something important. There are going to be many times in your life when you just feel like giving up. You will have many great moments, but you will also have many bad moments where you just feel like quitting. But I realized that those bad moments are simply life testing you. It's similar to a restaurant in that Friday night and Saturday night are always going to be busy. It's packed. Yeah. People are having a great time. The business owner is making lots of money. It's great. But every week, Monday rolls around, Tuesday rolls around, mm -hmm. and those nights are the low points. It's quiet, not as many people are coming in, and the owner probably struggles to keep the place busy on those quieter nights. But for those yep. who can keep it busy throughout the week, they're consistently delivering a great experience mm -hmm. such that people cannot stop coming back. Those are the yes. people who are heading for the top. And the other night, when the podcast wasn't doing well, that was my Monday night, my Tuesday night, the nights where you are being tested of your resolve and whether you actually want to make it happen. And so in a literal sense, I realized that I need to change something about this podcast because my strategy just wasn't working. And this person in my mm -hmm. Discord had a really good idea, so I'm going to credit them here. And they said something like, what if you just make the podcast Spotify exclusive? After all, that's a place people more readily associate with podcasts than YouTube, right? Yeah. And I looked into it and I said, yeah, I actually do agree with that. It's a good idea. As well, Each platform has their own interests, so let's save the podcast for Spotify and the talking videos for YouTube. And while yeah. we're on the topic, if you'd like to be on the podcast, you can sign up for a time with the top link in my video descriptions. Oh, it's shit! Clear. I'm not saying this is, you know, and they lived happily ever after and they <laughs> go in the distance. Mm, yeah, no. much have to do to work and keep going, but just let that be a lesson in that there are going to be times when you are tested in life, and all you have to do is not give up. Stop quitting when it gets hard, because those are the moments where you will learn the most about yourself. The great moments in life will come too, and they will feel like an absolute breeze. But let me leave you with this analogy. Mm -hmm, Every mm -hmm. lightning strike is followed by the thunder. So make sure to bring your coat when it starts to pour. And what I mean by that is you will often have huge bursts of energy. Yes. Tons of passion, tons of thoughts and ideas. Use that. But just know that that might not last. And every time there's a high point, there's often a low point that follows it. You're going to feel great for two weeks, and then you might lose your passion. But just know when that passion starts to dissipate, that's not a reason to give up. That's simply the thunder, the rain, the downpour. And you have yep. to make sure that you come prepared and be mindful that you are not going to give up. Alright guys, I'll catch you later.
That was actually really fucking beautiful. Anyways, we're gonna like this video, and we're gonna most definitely have the shit in the description. Um, if you want to go and find it, I'm gonna have the link to join in and get in his schedule in the top of the video. And if I fucking remember at all, I'll try to remember. I can't guarantee shit because I forget. And <sighs> let me stop rambling. I'll try to remember to go back to my other Flow State videos and add this link. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to do that. Anyways, my name's Dells are Slit, and well, I'd like you to go into the description of this video and click the links. I'd also like you if you have something to tell or to talk to Flow State about. Why don't you just do it? I won't because I don't know why the fuck I won't. Hmm. Anyways, doesn't matter. Have a lovely day, everybody. I'll be contemplating my own shit later. Bye-bye.